Alrighty, so video two of four or five. Again, yet to determine. So this game will be looking at the jungle, and why are we sitting at four and a half minutes into the game, you might ask? Well, honestly, the first few minutes of the game were really well played. The camp clearing was excellent. Uh, the pathing was fine. Um, there were some minor, minor points to go over in like fighting and clearing, but um, they, they really weren't worth uh, talking about. So instead we're going to start at about four and a half minutes into the game. So Volibear is clearing the crap and he's going to go for a mid gank here. So um, there, there's two um, possible scenarios that happen off of this gank. The first scenario, um, which is kind of unlikely, is that you get a kill onto this victor. Um, at which point you have to determine what you're doing with the wave, right? So, um, are you helping the Corky push the wave and crash under the tower? Or are you going up to do your camps over here? Or are you going to Dragon? Um, my personal preference for this situation would be to shove the wave mid and then rotate Dragon. But um, th you, you've got a few options here. Um, the other scenario is what actually ends up happening, which is where you burn the flash of the victor, um, but don't actually manage to get the kill. Um, and again, you have the same options, clearing camps, shoving the wave, and going to dragon. Um, maybe, maybe you could go for an invade in either scenario as well. That would be fine. Um, but I'm mentioning these because... Um, that's the sort of things you need to think of um, as you go for a gank. So you, you decide here that you're going for a gank on mid and you look mid and you're like, okay, I can do this. And it's at this point that you start thinking, what should I do after this gank? Um, and you, you'll see why I say that in a minute. Um, so you, you do the gank, you get a good chunk off and then you wiggle. Where are you going? Are you going dot? Are you going top? Well, you decided to go bot, but uh, you got there too late to do anything, and now you've wasted quite a bit of time um, doing nothing. Um, so let's let's count exactly how long you spent doing nothing. So gank goes off. Cool. Now you see the timer up here. Four minutes fifty-four. You're doing nothing. Doing nothing. Thinking about going bot. Oh, you can't go bot. Yeah, but maybe you can go bot. No, you can't go bot. And now you're doing something. So you spent from 4 minutes 54 till 5 minutes 25 doing absolutely nothing. Uh, this, is, this is really, really bad. Um, so you have a few options of things you could have done in this time, right? You could have taken probably two to three camps. Um, so that's between eight to 12 CS, which is, if you didn't know, so 15 CS is equal to 300 gold, um, which means that 12 CS is equal to roughly, oh, here's my horrendous, horrendous maths. It'll, it'll get there. Is that right? No, that's not right. There we go. So, 12 CS is worth 240 gold. So, you, you could have done uh, 240 gold worth of camps in this time. Um, another option. Um, you could have gone top and got, and ganked off top. Um, or caught the wave. Um, so that would be five minutes and potentially a kill. So that's five CS, which is a uh, hundred gold or potentially even a kill, which is, um, 300 gold. 
So let's say you get the kill like 50% of the time. That's 150 gold on average. So you've missed 250 gold. So either 240 gold of camps and you'll always get that 240 gold because the camps aren't going to, you know, magically disappear. Or you can go top, pick up these five minions and maybe get a kill. Um, which is going to be anywhere between, you know, 100 to 400 gold. Um, Dragon isn't really an option, um, just because of how the bot played out. Um, you could maybe go for these raptors and steal away a camp. Um, and then go and do Gromp. So that's two camps, ACS, um, roughly 180 gold, 160 gold, something like that. Um, but you also steal away four CS from Hecker, as well as the XP, um, which I'm not taking into account because that's too complicated to calculate quickly. So there's, there's a couple options that you had um, instead, but um, you've wasted quite a lot of time. Uh, but you do get the CS bot lane at least. Um, but you could have very easily done Wolf or Gromp or both into getting that bot CS. Um, and now again, you're you're kind of wandering about, deciding, do I want to go here, do I not? Um, you waste another um, like 20, 25 seconds. That's another probably about... Um, Six or seven CS, um, which again is another, you know, hundred and fifty gold, uh, hundred and thirty, let's say. So you've missed another hundred and thirty. So the total amount of gold you've missed from um, just not being sure what to do is probably around about two hundred and fifty to four hundred, um, which is a kill, right? Um, not counting XP, of course. So now you come top, get the ult, that's good. Um, and now you just leave. <laughs> and that's, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, you get the crab. And you can see here, um, blue buff is spawning pretty soon. You know that, um, Hecarim is a bot side because he just took dragon. Um, and you go for Harold. Harold is... A mediocre call here. Um, it, it's certainly possible to take it, especially since you haven't seen Hecarim. Um, but the safer play for sure is to take uh, Blue Buff and Grub, because that's you know four eight CS Blue Buff, stealing away from Hecarim. So you have to deduct that from Hecarim's income as well. Because you see, he he just comes and picks that all up because you tried to contest Harold and didn't get it. So you've wasted a lot of time here. Going for a gank here is good. You get the gank off, get a kill, keep uh, Wukong in the game. Another skirmish, absolutely fine. Get another kill. Um, you probably want to push this out. Um, if you count the minions here, we've got four casters, two melees, and a cannon versus two and a bit melees. Uh, three casters and cannon. So this is going to slow push towards um, Mordekaiser. So what you can do is you can push out this wave, Wukong will TP, Mordekaiser will TP, and then you get this for free. Um, you get it for free anyway, but if, if Hecarim is... Oh, Hecarim's dead. Never mind. Um, but yeah. Like, th this is... And then Wukong has to commit TP because it's slow pushing into Hecarim. Uh, into Mordekaiser. So. Um, yeah, you, you, you basically had the chance to force the Mordekaiser TP. Um, but because you went straight to Herald, you, you missed that chance. Hecarim's just having a party in your jungle as well. Um, you're quite far, far behind on tempo now as well because of the uh, hesitation you had before. Um, especially like bot and mid wiggling about um, as well as the herald play so you're looking bot here looking for a gank here is fine uh, but you don't want to wait too long there you go get a bit of chunk 
turns into a fight, you get a kill. Turn on this, get a lot of damage off. And yeah, this is this is perfectly fine. Um, play doesn't go well, but that's outside of your control. It's it's factors such as the late TP from uh, Corky, as well as the um, fact that your top plane doesn't have TP. Um, which again, if you had forced the Mordekaiser TP up here um, by pushing that wave, he doesn't have TP for the bot play, and that bot play goes a lot better. You get a kill, and then you get out for free. So, knockout effect there. But anyway, you go up top, clearing camps. Again, just clearing camps. Interesting. Um, Thresh is inting his ass off. Could maybe have turned on Mordekaiser here, but uh, it's fine if you don't. Uh, popping Herald here is a bit early. Um, it's fine to do like Raptors here, but you probably want to do Raptors into popping it because it's kind of time for Corky to just shove the wave out. Um, and then you should probably never be going up this way um, at this point. So you do get the ward, but that sweeper is better used like here or here. And you want to be moving towards your camps. I'll always be moving towards um, doing something. Um, like if you if you spot, you know, the dive is going to happen top, then it's fine to move top. But um, like you, you don't have the vision for that. Um, so you need to be you know, blessing those control wards. Um, Thresh is inting once again. The Thresh it really turbo griefed this game, by the way. Uh, this is this is kind of greedy. Um, why is this greedy? Well, Skull Crab is free for a start. Um, Jinx should have either this bush or this bush warded, um, realistically. So you're never going to be able to, uh, kill a competent Jinx here. Um, you're likely not even going to force, um, heal unless you commit your ult and your smite. At which point, if Hecarim is nearby, you are screwed as demonstrated here <laughs> so yeah um getting skull crab is just the more consistent play um it has the higher chance of you know actually succeeding and then for some reason mordekaiser's in your jungle um that probably should have been communicated by the wukong but um I mean, there, there's not a super huge reason for you to be in here in the first place. You're, you were sitting on um, a lot of gold. A lot, a lot of gold. So here you're sitting on like 2k gold. Um, no camps up. Objective's about to spawn. Uh, in how long? Yeah, objective's about to spawn in a minute. So you probably want to be backing instead of in your jungle. Um, you probably want to back... Um, let's just check vision here real quick. Yeah, you didn't spot him. But yeah, you, you probably want to be backing like here. Um, which gets you two dragon in time if you want to contest it. You can spend your 2k gold. And your camp's not going to go anywhere. Or if it is going somewhere, it's already gone. So you get solo killed by the Mordekaiser, which sucks, because um, now you definitely can't contest Dragon. 
and if Hecarim was so inclined, he could literally walk up and take these walls. Um, but instead he recalls for items and goes to Dragon. Uh, BKP kinda ints. We got a fight here. And nothing much is happening. So, uh, at this point, the game is super, super hard for you to play. Um, so I will stop um, going over the, the, the film. But the main points are um, always be sure of what you want to do. And if you don't know what you want to do, default to going to the next camp. Um, just always, always be farming if you don't know what you need to do. Um, other than that, um, your ganks were pretty reasonably good, other than the one down here that you, you wasted a lot of time going for a, a jinx that's never going to die. Um, your pathing was decent, um, but yeah, m missing a lot of camps for no reason, um, and you missed a couple opportunities to invade and get a couple camps. Um, and yeah, just quite a bit of time wasted that lost you a lot of tempo. So overall, not, not a horrible game for you, but, um, uh, definitely could be better. Um, and I will end it here.